Okay, so this is Vuzik Display. This is a, a display <laughs> application and plugin. It doesn't produce any audio or MIDI output. Uh, it just works with MIDI input. So I have here my, my I'm using a standalone version, but it works as a VST two and three plugin. I can resize the the window if I want. Can also make it full screen. We're show, going to show you in a minute. So now I'm in the editor mode. So I can see that there are two objects here on C2 and C3 that I added. So if I go to my MIDI keyboard and select C2 and C3, I can go from one to another. So let's edit this. I click it, I can remove, move, duplicate or, or edit. Uh, I can also middle click to edit directly. I can click here on the Vuzik logo and select the inline help to some, to some shortcuts on how to use it. So what I have here, the object settings for C2 is a shard that I have added and a text. But I can, if I want, I can just have a text, let's say, I disable the chart, and if I go to the C3, edit, uh, I have an image here that I can remove, I just click on the image and remove it, and have just the text. And I can go at any point, I can go to the uh, normal uh, display mode, né? close editor, so now that's, just a normal display. I can double click on the interface to make it full screen. So now I can go from one word to another, just in full screen. Double click again to go back. Click on the Vuzik logo to, I can hide the logo if I want, or I can just go full screen or open the editor again. And let's edit the C2 again. So I'm going to, to add some lyrics here, let's say, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and. So this is the lyrics of my song, let's say. <laughs> it's not much. I can set the lyrics, lyrics color here, which is going to highlight the word that I select through MIDI. So now I can go here on lyrics mode and enable it. And now the, the keys before C2, C2 is going to select this object. So I have to always press this before I can continue. Any of the keys after that is going to select the words. So I can, I'm just pressing one after the other. I can go backwards if I want, or just at random. And I can also select lyrics mode, new lines divide. So it's going to select by lines instead. Or uh, if I'm using the regular mode and I want to make two words uh, glue together, let's say, just put a hyphen and it's going to do just, just as that. Just simple as that. This is just the lyrics mode. Can I go full screen now? And you go on, on the MIDI notes from your host and you send MIDI notes as you need the lyrics to appear. And uh, you can go from one object to another. And that's pretty much it, what, what you can do with it. It's a very simple application, but can really help Um, doing several things uh, that you want to. The short is also very helpful because you can show exactly wh what you want. Not just shards, but uh, melody that you want to, to remember as you play. And you just play around with the padding. The padding value is going to add uh, space to the top, left, right, and bottom areas and the position of the short is just going to make it uh, go to the bottom instead of to the top. And if put zero, the text is going to be on top of the, 
of the shard. Just simple as that. You can export and import templates if you want. Um, what else? Well, I think that's pretty much it for this product. It's a very simple product, but uh, you can uh, you can do a lot of things with that. Uh, especially uh, in live situations, I created mostly for me uh, because I want something like this, uh, so I can remember what I need to do and stuff like that. So I hope you guys appreciate it. So that's it. Thanks for watching.